In this video, you will learn about how a CAUIM administrator can install the CAUIM server. The CAUIM server forms the foundation of the CAUIM solution as it performs various significant tasks. For example, it installs the primary hub. It creates your database, creates the UIM domain, installs your UIM server homepage, installs your local archive. Now, let us see how John, who is a CAUIM product administrator, goes about installing the CAUIM server. Before John follows the process demonstrated in this video, he completes the following prerequisites. He ensures that he has reviewed the pre-installation tasks. He ensures that he has also reviewed the support matrix information that is available in the product compatibility topic. And finally ensures that he has downloaded the installation media. John is now ready to get started with the UIM server installation. To initiate the installation, he navigates to the location where he has downloaded the media. He locates the setup CAUIM server.exe file and double clicks to start the installation process. Starting the installation displays the welcome screen. On this screen, he selects the required language and clicks the installation button to begin the installation. On the introduction screen, John reviews the information and clicks next to proceed to the license agreement screen. John reviews the information, accepts the agreement, then clicks the next button to move to the IP environment selection screen. On this screen, he selects the IP environment in which he wants to install the UIM server and clicks the next button. On the install folder screen, he retains the default folder location. He clicks the button to proceed to the next screen. The System Prerequisites Analysis screen helps John verify the system requirements that are required to proceed with the installation. He verifies that the status is displayed as OK. John then proceeds to the Port Availability Analysis screen by clicking Next. On the screen, he verifies the availability of the port number that the WASP probe will use on the UIM server computer. John closes the message and clicks Next to navigate to the database configuration screen. The purpose of the screen is to help John select his database provider and then populate the related fields. Note that the TLS configuration section is applicable only for Microsoft SQL Server and Oracle. John clicks the Test button to verify the provided entries. The success message indicates that everything is fine and he can proceed to the next screen. On the primary hub configuration screen, he verifies the auto-populated information for the primary hub. After verifying the information, he enters the UIM administrator password that he wants to use to access the primary hub. When he is done with the configuration, he clicks the test button to verify that the information is correct. He closes the success message and clicks Next. The next screen is the Telemetry Probe Configuration screen. The Telemetry Probe collects data about a user's environment and can send it over an encrypted connection to a secure server. John reviews the Telemetry license information, accepts it, and clicks Next to proceed to the summary screen. Now, he reviews the pre-installation summary. He clicks the Install button to start the installation. The installation is started and the progress is displayed. When the installer completes the installation, it displays the Install Complete screen. On the Install Complete screen, John notes the location where the UIM server is installed and clicks the Done button to finish the installation. After the installation finishes, a UIM home web page is displayed. This web page includes important information that John reviews and explores to understand more about the product. For example, the page includes links to other CAUIM component installers, DocOps documentation, and communities. John has successfully installed the CAUIM server.